Okay, it's time. As you can see, this is definitely different from Fire Emblem 1. This is Fire Emblem Gaiden, aka the Black Sheep of the Fire Emblem series. There are going to be a lot of differences between this game and the first one, but I'm honestly really excited to check it out because the remake of this game is my favorite one in the series. So I'll probably know some of the stuff that's going on, but then other stuff I won't fully know because obviously there's going to be differences from the original versus the remake. So let's go ahead and get started. Give me a moment. Big 
kind of looked at what was good and bad about my one instead of trying to really change a lot of the systems for the better, they kind of just overhauled a lot of things for this game. Which I honestly don't think was the worst system at all. They gave some interesting stuff. Like the EXP system is also now different. Take a bit more time to just 
I can really feel it right now, going from Final 1 to this game. The systems overall are just so much faster. It's so, so nice. Like, boom, click. Like, all that still shows up, but it's a lot quicker to get through. And then you can just go right into an attack. So I think, oh, there are a lot of systems. Instead of uh, defeating the boss sees maps like Fire Emblem 1 had, Fire Emblem 2 is a lot more route-based objectives. So, in order to really beat all of these maps, you just need a map in. So, let's say we want to break up Chapter 1 into uh, chapter sections. So, Chapter 1, 2, etc. You have about 7 chapters plus 2 dungeon maps. Uh, just in part one out of five parts. And then looking at all in the world map, you have a few different options. Uh, item, for example, you basically have access to the combo whenever you want. Store items, swap items between people, take items. You can't really do that because no one has anything right now. Uh, we can look at data for everyone. Uh, actually get to see each of these things when you're not in combat, which is so, so nice.
I don't like Axie that's usually a fire up one. And going forward, he's getting all my moves. Now I don't have to worry about him because he isn't in this game. No one like him is in this game. Selka as a character is in 
once it gets to like later chapters and people start getting those items, then you have to do more of that. But on these beginning chapters, I can look and I can say, okay, Cliff has some power, two speed, three defense. This dude up here has some power, two speed, and two defense. Because of that, he should do he should be doing about four damage to Cliff without being able to double Cliff. Unless so mean so that means
multiple different items depending on what you make your building. Everyone gets a specific level depending on the class that they are allowed to promote, and then you go to a metal statue to promote to the next class. For, for villagers, it's level 3, and after level 3, they can branch into a new promotion path and become stronger characters. Um, I believe Clerics and mages 
both get access to magic attacks. Silk, for example, has... Let's see if I can find her. Here she is. I can't look at her. Look at her. But, uh, Silk gets access to Nosferatu and Recover. Nosferatu does, uh, I believe it has 60% accuracy. However, whatever damage you hit onto enemies, you then heal back to yourself. Which is very, very helpful for mages and clerics to have as their magic to heal. In this case, the basic recover spell does one damage to them. So if you want to heal with mages, you have to give uh, HP in order to do so. Children of God, step forth to gain your promotions. Robin to mage. I think that will be a good thing. So now Robin's mage. Which helps out a bit, you know, a bit more defense always nice. Uh Green Soldier. No. Um because I believe that Lucas is a soldier, and I want uh Gray instead to be a uh, sword builder. Archer's nice, but I don't want Archer. Cavalier also nice, but no thanks. Come on, just give. There we go, mercenary. Awesome. Speed plus six. That's insane. Yeah, I don't think he 
against it. So, personally, I feel like those are probably the best classes to give to people. Over here, Gray will be complete. He's very strong. And now the enemies can keep on coming. Thank you. 
they did what they made a solution to, which is it kept a lot of things similar to the original game, while still, while still changing things up. system. 
most of the time promote people right when you're able to get the promotion. It just helps out a lot with the campaigns and stuff. So, I just say that it's a good strategy.
mercenary. Don't give me revenge. There we go. Archer plan. Prop 1 is very nice. HP plus 3 is very nice. I've seen certain people online being like, oh, uh, you know, Fire Emblem isn't really a series, it's more like, uh, the name of the series of a bunch of different styles of games. But in reality, uh, there are a lot of Fire Emblem games that have very big similarities to one another. It's just that there are some Fire Emblem games that have differences that are considered black shapes, like Gaiden and Echoes. Gaiden was the Similarities between the game and this and Final Fantasy 1. There 
are still very, very good differences. So, if someone did though, um, uh, if someone said to me, my first Fire Emblem game was Three Houses, I would look at them and be like, that's cool. Because I actually have a friend of mine who I introduced them to Fire Emblem with Three Houses, and they had a great time with it, and then they got engaged, and they were just like, this is different. And then I was just like, yeah, this, this is more like how Fire Emblem is. The good news is, though, they have a fun time with it, so that's very nice to see. But it, I just feel like that, it, that it, uh, realization should be there for some people. It's just, uh, be wary of the first game you start out with. Because sometimes that game will set up an expectation of what you think the rest of the series will be like.
not what at all. So I think it would be a pretty good idea to spend a little bit of time on one of these maps giving Sophie the EXP that she so desperately needs. Uh, Greg can stay over here just in case the soldier tries to come over. Then
places, they still retain the uh, place like screen from uh, Shadow Dragon. So let's say there are a few things that you don't want to bring into a problem, you don't have to do that. But you'll eventually see uh, during Patch 3, maybe Chapter 3 of this game, there will be the Amber spawns of this game, which I think. Kind of awkward, and I kind of wish Harvey 
my wishes, they just kept the uh, HP system instead. So I want to try 